What's up YouTube and welcome to Travel Adventures with Eric B. I'm Eric B and today we're going to begin part one of my three-part series visiting all 12 of the Division I universities in the state of Louisiana. There are 60 colleges and universities in the state of Louisiana. We're going to visit the 12 Division I starting right now with the flagship institution. Let's go. Welcome to Louisiana State University, the home of the 2019 NCAA Football National Champions. University established in 1853 under the name University of Louisiana Seminar of Learning and Military Academy. The current campus was dedicated back in 1926, has over 250 buildings. The university has over 33,000 students, of which 27,000 are undergrads, 6,000 postgrads. LSU competes athletically on a Division I level in the Southeastern Conference. Athletically, the university has 21 programs, 12 women's programs, and nine men programs. The yellow cage you previously saw is the cage that they actually bring out the live tiger at pre-LSU football games. So if that looks familiar, that you are looking at the current Mike the Tiger. The current Mike the Tiger is Mike number seven. Came around in 2017. Mike's habitat has been around since 2005 right across the street from Tiger Stadium. The previous Mike the Tiger, Mike the six had a cancerous tumor right above his eye, an inoperable tumor. He was the first tiger to undergo radiation cancer treatment. From, And this is outside of the Pete Maravich Assembly Center. You see a statue of Shaquille O'Neal, former NBA great superstar, one of LSU's most famous alums, a larger than life superstar who played between 1989 and 1992 for the Tigers. O'Neill actually returned to school to get his degree after he left after his third year to get drafted by the Orlando Magic. O'Neill is a four-time NBA champion, a three-time NBA MVP, a 15-time All-Star, and one of the most recognizable names in all of sports. And that's the Pete Maravich Assembly Center, the basketball arena, named for one of the most exciting players in NBA history, Pistol Pete Maravich. And there's the outside of Tiger Stadium right there, as we're going to go check out Tiger Stadium and go check out some of the trophies. We are in the parking lot right now for Tiger Stadium. As we're gonna approach Tiger Stadium, we're gonna see some of the, the trophies and the plaques and the different things that the Tigers have celebrated over the years, including that plaque, the 2019 National Championship schedule where you can see what the Tigers accomplished. Billy Cannon, the original Heisman Trophy winner way back in 1959. So if you've ever been to Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, this is the front entrance to the stadium. Cannon was LSU's first Heisman winner until Burrow's 2019 Heisman Trophy was the first Heisman Trophy for LSU in exactly 60 years since Billy Cannon won it in 1959. LSU has a total of four college football national championships. Three in recent times, 2003, 2007, and 2019. And Billy Cannon and the Tigers back in 1958 won LSU's original national championship. As I take a ride here around LSU's lovely campus, the university is known for more than just its sports and football in particular. Excellent baseball program, basketball program, but also known for its academics, Paul M. Abair Law Center has been nationally recognized as well as the E.J. Uso College of Business as, as national programs, two of the best national programs around the country. Also, if you ever ride around LSU's campus, you got to see the Watchtower, the Memorial Tower, which is right there in the background which is near the Student Union, is very beautiful. It's one of the centerpieces of campus. You ride around LSU's campus, they have a very nice Student Union, and that Memorial Tower is one of the centerpieces. Students like to go hang out, have a little picnic, and enjoy themselves by the Memorial Tower. Louisiana State University is also one of eight universities in the United States with a dental program, a law program, a veterinarian program, a medical and master's in business administration programs all in one university. Death Valley, as Tiger Stadium is known as, is one of the main attractions to LSU. LSU's alums, some famous ones are 
Pistol Pete Maravich, as I mentioned, Shaquille O'Neal, James Carville, former political advisor to President Bill Clinton, Edwin Edwards, the 50th governor, the current governor, John Bell Edwards, and Herbert Humphrey, the 38th vice president of the United States between 1965 and 1969. Now we're going to hit Interstate 12 and we're going to leave Baton Rouge and we're going to head to Hammond, Louisiana as we're going to head to Southeastern Louisiana University. Now we transition from tigers to lions and we move from purple and gold to green and gold. A university that I'm very familiar with, Southeastern Louisiana University, established way back in 1925 as Hammond Junior College. And it was that way until 1970 when the university moved to its current location and achieved university status and became Southeastern Louisiana University. The Lions of Southeastern Louisiana University is now the third largest school in the state of Louisiana with over 14,000 students. Southeastern competes in the Southland Conference and competes on a Division I FCS level in football, 16 varsity sports at Southeastern Louisiana University as well. Located in Hammond, Louisiana, you are right off of I-55 and I-12. I-55, of course, goes as far north all the way up to Chicago. I-12 is all within the state of Louisiana. Notable alums from Southeastern Louisiana are Bill Evans, a jazz, famous jazz musician, couple major league players, and Kyle Keller and Wade Miley. Also NFL player Robert Alford. Brian Spears, a film and television producer, and the most famous of all Southeastern alums, me, no. Seriously, uh, Robin Roberts from Good Morning America, who has a jersey retired, as a matter of fact, inside of the University Center, the basketball arena. We have a look at the baseball stadium, Pat Canale Diamond at Alumni Field. Southeastern's campus, uh, that's the softball field right there, and there goes some dorms right there. They built those dorms new around 2005, 2006. SLU also has a really good nursing program, and they have some nursing buildings in Baton Rouge focused on nursing. Being the only university truly located on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain, Southeastern has been known as Louisiana's University of the North Shore, as well as the University of the Florida Parishes. We're going to take a little stroll now down Interstate 55, and we're going to catch Interstate 10, and we're going to go about 60 miles total, and we're going to head into the city of New Orleans. We're going to head to the University of New Orleans and check out the privateers. University of New Orleans, the privateers, just under 8,000 students, just under 6,500 undergrads, and a thousand and a half postgrads. University of New Orleans once upon a time had about 13,000 students and was the third or fourth largest university in the state of Louisiana but lost a lot of attendance after dealing with a lot of tr struggles back in 2005 after Hurricane Katrina. The university sits on the Lake Pontchartrain in New Orleans, competes on a Division I level as well as in the Southland Conference, has 14 sports, eight Division I sports, and six club sports. The university is about a 15 minute drive outside of the French quarters. It's a very compact university, easy to get around. Students really enjoy this university because it's so easy to get around and compact. Some of the famous alums to come from the university, Pat Barry, UFC fighter, Jericho Brown, poet, Pulitzer Prize winner, Randy Bush, former MLB World Series champion with the Minnesota Twins, John Larroquette, actor, also Emmy Award winner, and the most famous of all, that's right, Ellen DeGeneres. We all know Ellen DeGeneres. UNO Lakefront Arena, the university's uh, basketball arena, also play volleyball in that arena, was um, the main arena in the city of New Orleans for a long time, hosting many concerts until the now Smoothie King Center came around and when the smoothie center came around it basically took over as the main concert venue in new orleans but the new orleans lakefront arena was the main arena up until 2010 and hosted many concerts 
on the campus of the University of New Orleans. You see the baseball field right there, Maestri Field. Maestri is a name that's synonymous with not just the University of New Orleans, but the city of New Orleans, named after Ron Maestri, a gentleman who was the, who played in UNO back in the 1960s. He was the athletic director for the university from 1979 to 2000 and came back to coach in 2014 for the privateers. Now we're going to leave the city of New Orleans and we're going to head down to Thibodeau, Louisiana. We're going to head down to Thibodeau, Louisiana and Lafouche Parish. And we're going to visit the red, silver, and white of the Nickel State Colonels. Nickel State University opened on September 23rd, 1948 as Francis T. Nichols Junior College of Louisiana State University. In 1956, Louisiana legislators made a decision to separate Nichols from the LSU school system, authorizing it to develop itself into a four-year institution, which it is today. Nichols State has a little over 6,350 students, a little over 5,000 undergrads, and about 650 postgrads. The campus once was part of Acadia Plantations. The university sits facing the Bayou Lafouche in Lafouche Parish. Interesting note about Nickel State. Nickel State has about 62% females attendance, 3% international students, and an interesting program at Nickel State compared to a lot of the Louisiana institutions is their culinary program, which they're famous for, John Fulce Culinary Institution. John Fulce is a very accomplished chef in the state of Louisiana. Nickel State is a Division I school who competes on the FBS level in football, also in the Southland Conference, located about 50 miles from New Orleans and about 60 miles from Baton Rouge. Some famous alums to come out of Nickel State, former Major League Baseball star Daryl Hamilton, Billy Tozan, former U.S. House Representative member, Punky Johnson, actress who you can see each and every week on Saturday Night Live. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I ask that you please hit the like, please hit the subscribe button, please hit the bell notification so you may be notified when I have more material coming out in the future. And as always, remember, live today, grow today, tomorrow's never guaranteed. Peace!